Let's get into Can You Feel It, okay? Can You Feel It? Can You Feel It, yeah. That's going to drop on the 19th, right? The 19th, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And they can actually pre-order that. Go ahead and plug them. Let them know how they can pre-order Yeah, yeah. Pre-order on Apple Music. Um, You can stream a little 30-second sample. We got a new music video coming out in February. I just shot that shit. It's for okay. a song called Upside Down. February 2nd, I think Groundhog Day. <laughs> February 2nd, Upside Down. New music video coming out. It's Here the first go. music video of the year. And then I got Can You Feel It? And then I got some more songs coming out as singles in spring. And then probably another album release this year. You dropping another album, Tim? Another album. I gotta run these numbers by you real quick, okay? Okay. Okay. So on the Spotify rapper, you had 1.8 million streams, 722.6K listeners, 79.6K oh hours, and 72 countries. <laughs> yes. How do you feel about that accomplishment? That's major. That's major. I feel so good. I feel so good. Okay, my listeners, the people that listen to me, because you know my hard work paid off, and and it blessed people's ears. And I hope people, you know, felt a certain way to my album Freedom Fighters. It was so deep. It was so deep. Yes, I love that. It was I love so that album. emotional for me, and it was so strong. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, I appreciate people streaming that this year, last year, and actually listening to my music. So I appreciate that so much. But you know, it was hard work. Yeah. You know, I traveled and traveled and I wasn't home for a long time and I was in a foreign place and there's been a lot of shit that I went through and shit that people don't know about. It's been real tough. Real right. tough. You know, going to Hollywood by myself back in the day, taking the mm -hmm. bus there and dealing with some crook people and con artists in LA. I mean, it's been real hard. I had to grow up fast through the industry in a way. Right. You know, it's been, it's been blood, sweat and tears literally. And, you know, it feels good when people listen to me, you know? I have right. a handful of people. I'm doing something. You know, that's all I there want. You go. Listen to my music and feel good and better and let it inspire them. Because it's a real hard life, especially in this industry as a young artist and how cutthroat it is and yeah. the shit yeah. I had to go through. You know, I'm still out here doing it and making music for other people. You know, it's not for me, it's for other people. And that's what it is. What motivates you to stay though? Like, after going through everything, what motivates you to stay again? It's the people, the people that listen to my music, that feel it, that feel euphoria that I give them, that motivates me to stay. That I'm making people happy, that I'm changing people's lives, you know, that I'm helping people. I'm, you know, all this shit that I've been through and all this shit, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because I have helped people. Um, God is on my side. He's protecting me. I believe in the most high. Yeah, you, you know go. what I mean? I believe in the angels. I believe that he has got me out of this shit for a reason. So he's got me out of all those dark places. Then I'm going to help people. And I'm going to travel the world with my music. And I'm going to bring light to dark places. That's what I want to do. The devil's not going to win. That's what it is. The devil's not going to win. That's what keeps me going. I don't, I don't want to be hardened. And I don't want to be miserable like the devil wants me to be. You know, like, I don't want him to win. I want to keep fighting for people. Damn. And tell my story. My story's not yet told, you know? So I got to tell my story. I got to continue. You know, this is what I have. It's my voice to sing for people. I've been doing it for years for people since I was little. Like Beyonce making shows in my living room. You know what I mean? So all this shit that I went through is not going to stop me. You know, Damn, you got the comments people. going up. <laughs> you got the comments going up. <laughs> Thank you, everybody gets a new track. <laughs> you, know, you know what the cold so part about that people, is? And they just turn your world right upside down. They flip you upside down. When right. you were nothing but genuine. But you know, it's always the people that you help the most that fuck always. the most. You never always judge them, the... you support them, you yeah. love them. Mm -hmm. But it's sad, I pray for people like that. I pray for people like that. Why do you without do that? people like that, I wouldn't write these songs. Okay, <laughs> I got you. They make you, you make know what I mean? So, and they make me stronger, you know? I can't let it harden me. Like I said before, I can't let the devil win. You know, it's just what it is. As you keep going and keep going, people mm -hmm. betray you. They betray yeah. you. They exactly. hurt you. They want to see you fail for right. whatever reason where you were nothing but good to them, wanted to see them never fail. Right. And you know, God knows that. And I'm not oh, afraid yeah. of people. I'm not afraid. I'm very strong. I'm a renegade. I'm a rebel. And I'm not going to let the devil win. Plug it. Oh, what the fuck, Papa? Hey, 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 what's good? You good? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with your family? What's good? Yeah, we about to turn the fuck up. You know how we do? Okay, let's turn the fuck up. Hell yeah, award-winning artist in this motherfucker. Okay, yeah, you know they hating. You know they hating <laughs> more than ever. Hey, <laughs> who hating on me? Oh, oh you know what? Who hating on me? I don't want to give no shout out. <laughs>
Oh, that makes nigga your energy hella good and everything. Make sure see. I don't know. Every time I put a new song out, I achieve something. Yeah. You know, I work really hard, and every time Period. you know I got something going on for myself, it seems like people hate and hate, and it's pathetic. That's correct. That's pathetic. how you be doing your shit. Right, right. Yeah. And that's sad though. I'm not that kind of person though. Somebody I see is successful doing their thing. I support. I'm real supportive. You know what Period. I mean? I don't sit there hate, live a pathetic life like that. Exactly. Like the <laughs> <laughs> they you go find a fucking job or something, you bitch ass motherfucker. Right, you know, right, right. Work at Macy's. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you did Dash Radio. Right, yeah, Dash Radio. Out yeah, out in LA. I appreciate that. That was some real cool shit. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, Queen G. Shout out to Queen G. I was just on her. Uh, Ninon. Shout out to Ninon. You yeah, know, that's a bitch. Shit. Life's a circle. Life's a mm-hmm. circle. You promote. You come back out. You get new shit out there. You, you hit up the people. You get on the shows. There you go. <laughs> hey, COVID ain't even slowing you down. Like, you really no. doing your shit. <laughs> right. How the fuck are you still making all this happen to the artists in the room? How are you still going so strong with COVID? Shit. Um, I guess there's a way around it. I don't know. I just, I still continue to make music. But, you know, there would have been, I would have been, you know, performing at a lot of shows last year. You know, big right. shows um, around the globe. I would have been traveling more. So it really did stop a lot, though. Right. Again, but you're going so strong, man. I'm proud yep. of you. It's the music. The music can't die. That's it's kind of weird not having you in the studio, man. I know. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> also, I was turning up with you. You know, I hope it really does improve. And there's right. concerts and, you know, games. And, you know, I miss the live audience shit. I miss going to see live shows. You know, right. going to make out with everybody at the clubs and shit. You know, <laughs> you can't do that no more. <laughs> nah, hell no. You be sticking them up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's one <laughs> I just smoke a lot of weed. I just smoke oh, okay. Weed. <laughs> okay. I think just work on my craft and new music and, uh, you know, put more visuals out. That's about okay. it. Um, I'm going to try to perform. I have some things planned for the summer. Hopefully get to Jamaica because that was what? the plan last year to perform out there. So let's nice. see how it goes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, get that shit. Pre-order that shit. It's fire. It's featuring Mary Jane Gambino. Yes. Um, it's, it's real shit. I love this song. I've been working with her for years in this industry. She used to book me for shows when I was 16. Oh, she used shit. to get me into the clubs. Yeah, sneak me in. Uh, she was a promoter back in the day. So, you know, I always, you know, support my promoters. And there you she's go. watching me for years. So I'm like, you know, why haven't we done a motherfucking song? Period. So Queen of Rap in Las Vegas. Listen to her. She got oh, far. Oh, she rap? She rap. She rap. She's a rap out here. Okay. She used to be so deep at the Kush Lounge, Shifties. She used to do all these big ass shows. I would go in my 16 year old ass and perform my <laughs> ass off. And you know, she really got me out there when I was young. Oh, and so shit. she's finally on a record and this shit goes fucking hard. You know, right, hard. Right. This shit dope. That's what I love. <laughs> you know, I love the cover. The cover of the uh, album. I love it because I love Thank all the W's. Me so, too. Yeah. Me too. It's I'm before getting you know, ready for sex now. Before our sex tape come out, we gotta do this this you know song. <laughs> are you bullshit or you for real? First. <laughs> are you are you bullshit or you for real? No, I'm for real. You got a sex tape. Call it. <laughs> <laughs> they finna call. They finna call when they see this porn. It's oh, way better than Kim K and all them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no real shit. Yeah, she's she's my ex lover. So, but you know, we put our troubles aside, and you know, we gotta work in the music and shit. Uh-huh. And, and she go hard. She go That's real funny. hard. And she's gonna listen to her too. Huh? How did y'all break up? Oh, you know, we both just cheated. <laughs> we both doing the whole day. Good old artists cheating. Is, so, yeah. you know, when it comes to artists, is, everybody fucking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> y'all who produced the track? Uh, yeah. Danny Beats. Danny Beats. Okay. He produced um, a couple of beats from the last track, the last album, Freedom Fighters. So yes. I did three more with him, three more beats with him. And uh, of course, Dirk Works, he blesses my track with recording it, engineering it. He's nice. the shit out here. He knows hella instruments, so he adds his own flavor in the beat, you know, spices it up a little bit more, put that okay. little rook in it. So shout out to Dirk Works. He work. He works. That's what's up. Okay, for sure. What inspired this track? Which one? BBW. Mary Jane? <laughs> <laughs> you just that loving. That's what right. that is. Um, well, you know, th- during the quarantine, I had a lot of time to think. And okay. I did spend a month, a month in Mexico City where Frida Carlo went and I seen San Miguel. And I remember all the nightclubs. They were so different than America. You know what uh-huh. I mean? And it just inspires me, Mexico. I want to say Mexico inspires that. 
as okay. far as that track. Let's get into the track. I'm excited. This and you inspired the track. As far as the lyrics, I yeah. give you a big shout out. You know, come to LAX, I'll be dripping. JMO interview, Slim, call me Pippin. You know what hey. I'm saying? Like, it's just a real shit, you know, enjoying the love you receive from cool interviewers like yourself. Thank you. Thank and, you, you know, me. just, you know, following your dream and saying, fuck the haters. They ain't catching me slipping. Period. <laughs> they ain't catching me slipping. Period. And dancing <laughs> and loving on your BBW. That's oh, it. Period. That's, That's it. it. Let's let the haters say.